Hey. I got a feeling it's going to be a wonderful day. Indeed so, Mr. Egg. Yet another Monday here in good old America. This Monday sure has left me broken. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing that bad. Anyways, let- My wife left me. Womp womp. Did you say womp womp? <laughs> uh, get over here. <laughs> Breaking news! The power of peer influence has a very strong impact on the youth. That's right. Children seek to fit in socially and will do whatever their friends think is cool, like smoking and other habits. You may think parents can stop this, but all they control is the discipline and a child. The peers are what guide a child's social abilities and choices. Well, that's some rather unfortunate news, but I'm sure we can lighten things up with some sports. Oh yeah! Toast here, and recent studies have occurred to help improve the athletic performance. There's two types of environments, enriched and improvised, which can affect how athletes practice and perform. With an improvised environment, it limits learning for the brain as there isn't much new to be learned. On the other hand, an enriched environment is a bigger environment with lots of space to learn and move. This has been proven by an experiment with rats in a small cage, that improvised environment, and a bigger cage with enriched environment. This experiment showed that rats in the bigger cage had brains that weighed more than the rats in the small improvised. So for anyone who wants to train their athletes well, be sure not to cage them up like rats and give them an enriched environment to thrive in. Thank you, and that is all for the sport. Boo! <laughs> Did I scare you, Hashbrown here? Just got some dead people. Woo but also, more importantly, a crazy process that happens throughout their life. It's call it the pruning process. This week, quite the tragedy. Granny Smith has died. Just a shame. Big shame. But throughout life, she showed good examples of this pruning process. Huh? That's probably nothing. Anyways, the pruning process happened for Granny Smith when her, when her brain matured, providing her with a lot of neural connections. This strengthens neural pathways commonly used and weakens the unused pathways. Granny had strengthened her low self-esteem pathways since she was young, which probably is the cause of her drinking habit that got her into this unfortunate mess. But the brain goes by one strict rule. You use it or you lose it. Is that a zombie? <laughs> Pancake here for the weather update. The weather here changes a lot, just like the brain does throughout your life and experiences using something called neuroplasticity. This goes on throughout the entire person's life, but the neuroplasticity halves when you're in your adult. Kind of like where the amount of snow has in warmer environments. With weather on its way, the common cold is making a return with the freezing weather, proving that cold is more impactful during the winter. This is a great example of how your social experiences as a kid are more impactful than the social experiences you have when you're an adult. All of these experiences shape your brain neurons from early childhood onward, just like as we get closer to winter, the cold weather is shaped by our climate. So expect low 60s in weather throughout the midday. Is that a zombie? Why, hello, Professor Sausage here with the latest on politics. The Red and Blue are fighting, as they normally do, and blaming each other for many different things. Recent argument is on whether, whether or not parents should be blamed for, or credited for their children's social abilities. Red claims that parents gain satisfaction from their children's successes, but feel guilt or shame for their failures, which the parents do not entirely control. But Blue argues that children do not get impacted by parents through their rules or how much attention they give their children. Neglecting a child or treating them poorly can make their personality more negative. A child's successes do come from the child, but failures can also be from the negative ways their parents do treat their child. So overall, I believe that they both do and do not impact a child's life. While not so socially, they can impact their personality. So I do believe that both red and blue should settle the differences and agree. <laughs> Alright, I forgot. Agreeing is not how politicians work. Zombie? What? That's it for today's news. We hope you learned something about psychology. Make sure you tune in tomorrow when we cover the topic, Trauma's Effect on the Brain. We will see you next time on a Bacon and Egg News Network. Um. <laughs>